Uh, well, let's dig into that word transpersonal because it's a, it's a very sexy word for a certain segment of the population, builds on the 20th century transpersonal psychology movement. But it seems like it's a word that can point in several different directions for different kinds of people. I think some people hear it as moving toward the impersonal, getting beyond the personal, beyond the ego, beyond the separate self to an aspirational superconsciousness. But for others, I think transpersonal means like ultra personal, super personal, a way of moving into the implicit transcendence that's deeper in our unique sensitivities and idiosyncrasies. So, you know, for the two of you, what does the word transpersonal signify? Well, I started off in the early days. Uh, I went to um, and graduated in 1984. I did graduate work at uh, JFK University in the transpersonal psychology program. At the time, it was the only uh, legitimate uh, degree program in the world. There was ITP was also going on, but I was fascinated with transpersonal psychology from the very beginning with Maslow starting it along with all the other wonderful people in the field, Stan Groff. And it's been my abiding interest ever since is uh, further reaches of human development. After we master consensual reality, where do we go? What do we do? How do we uh, become more loving, more giving, more, uh, how do we get beyond ourselves, beyond our ego? The great book by Walsh and Vaughn about getting beyond ego. So it's always been that for me is getting beyond the personal self and whatever that entails. So there's many ways to get there, psychedelics, sex. Uh, people have come up with technologies for that since long uh, before Western culture. So it's just been the study of all that and uh, part of that journey is outward and part of that journey, as you said, is inward. And I'll second that and say that I look at uh, transcending is, you know, literally overcoming the limits of, overcoming the limits of personal. So I'm in this body. My mission is to be in this body as much as possible and live out this particular reality that I'm in right now. Um, not to ascend, not to escape, not to be higher. I want to be here as much as I can. And what does that entail? That entails transcending a lot of things that I see as uh, they might be limitations. At least they were for me personally. And when I started out in transpersonal psychology, it was pretty much the Ken Wilber. It was actually studying Ken Wilber. And it was that whole model of it's a hierarchy and you want to climb up. And of course, I wanted to be at the highest level. I wanted to be better than everybody else. I wanted to be more conscious, more aware, more. And then, um, you know, I was really stunned when Jorge Ferrar came out and said, it's not about upward. It's about everybody's got something to teach you know that's very arrogant that whole model of transcending and being above everyone else so it's really the field and at least my work and uh, a lot of people's has expanded out now into how can we learn from everyone there's no higher and lower we're not i have to keep correcting myself because for years i've been saying higher consciousness i no longer believe in higher consciousness i'm trying to correct myself to say expanded consciousness I don't want to be higher consciousness. I'm going to include more. Yeah, and I would agree with that. I see it as much more uh, rhizomatic, as everything being interconnected and moving out rather than having the old metaphor of the tree. What's the metaphor of the tree? The metaphor of the tree is root cause. We're grounded here. Everything branches out from that rather than being more like a piece of ginger or a mushroom or something as my ceiling where everything's interconnected. You can break it off at any point. It'll still grow back. So much more like expansive, inclusive sort of uh, metaphor. Mm -hmm. 